three, two, one, ignition, engine full power, and go! Falcon 9 and SCS 03D Empower. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Vehicle's pitching down range. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off of Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station carrying the O3B M power payload. During ascent, we tilt the engines, technically called gimbling, and this turns the rocket horizontally in what we call a gravity turn. Supersonic. You heard that call out that the vehicle is now supersonic, and we will be throttling the engines down in preparation for a max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure in just a couple of seconds. Now we pass through max Q and the rocket typically needs to go 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid and being pulled back down to earth. You heard the call out that MVAC engine shell has begun. Now this is in preparation for three events coming up in quick succession, which is main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine startup one. So this will, these three events will all be happening in about 30 seconds here, starting with main engine cutoff of those first stage engines that you can see on your screen right now. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And there you heard and saw those three events happening back to back, main engine cutoff, stage separation, and that second engine startup one of our second stage. You can see those grid fins on the first stage deploying as the first stage begins to make its way back down to Earth. Now the next event in just a few seconds here will be fairing separation, where the two halves of the fairings will separate to reveal our O3B M power satellites. Fairing separation confirmed. There's that confirmation of fairing separation, and we will be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves again today once they fall back down to Earth using our recovery vessel, Bob. It's T plus three minutes and 50 seconds here into today's mission, and we are in the first of two planned MVAC burns for satellite deployment. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. In about two and a half minutes here at T plus six minutes and 30 seconds, you should see on your screen the first stage's entry burn. Now for this entry burn, we relight three of the M1D engines, starting with the center E9 engine, followed shortly by the E1 and E5 engines, which are all in a row. And this entry burn will slow the vehicle as it passes down into the Earth's atmosphere. Beautiful views from the first and second stages on your screen. Now the first stage is making its way back down, preparing for its entry burn. 
we need to perform this entry burn to help reduce re-entry forces on the first stage, which will help us recover and reuse the booster. Now again, during the re-entry burn, the first stage on the left will decelerate by firing its Merlin engines. It'll fire three out of the nine engines, and this will actually cause the vehicle to fly down through the plume, which will deposit some of that soot back onto Falcon 9. Beautiful views from the first and second stage. Again, that second stage is in the first of three planned burns carrying our two O3B M power satellites. And the first stage is coming down, awaiting the start of its entry burn at T plus six minutes and 30 seconds. This will be about a 20 second entry burn. You can see the speed. On the normal trajectory. You can see the speed of both the first and second stages on the bottom left and right hand side of your screens, respectively. First stage is about to start its entry burn. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one entry burn startup. There's the start of the first stage entry burn. Stage one entry burn shut down. And that was a good entry burn from the first stage. Again, reusability is key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more investments in things like critical scientific research. Now, the Falcon 9 first stage that's supporting today's mission just performed its entry burn for the second time after previously having supported the Crew-6 launch just last month. Now, the Merlins on the first stage are optimized for sea level, whereas that MVAC engine you see on the second stage there is optimized okay. for vacuum which just means that it has a much bigger nozzle compared to the M1D engines on the first stage. Now coming up in about 20 seconds, we'll have the shutdown of our MVAC engine on the second stage, followed quickly by the landing burn on our first stage. Stage one transonic, stage two FTS is saved. There was confirmation of second engine cutoff. Nominal parking orbit insertion. And a nominal orbital insertion. Stage one landing burn. There is the start of our stage one landing burn and you can see that drone ship coming in quick. Stage one landing leg deploy. What an awesome view of that first stage recovery. Everyone's very excited here in Hawthorne. And there you have it. That landing marks SpaceX's 188th recovery of an orbital class rocket, including first stage landing of Falcon 9 and Heavy. But the mission isn't over just yet. The second stage is now embarking on its first coast phase. Now, after this coast phase, we will light that MVAC engine for a second time around the T plus 27 minute mark. So we'll see you here back here in about 17 minutes.